talk about uh, snow goose calling. Uh, one of my other popular videos on here is of me blowing this uh, quackhead snow goose call. And this snow goose call is probably, it's five years old. I got it uh, in 2011. I won a duck calling competition at Cabela's in Kansas City, Kansas. And uh, if you want it, you got a $250 gift card. And uh, so I went and got that gift card and I spent that whole $250 worth of that gift card in that store within like 30 minutes like I'm not that and I was 13 years old and I blew it all on hunting stuff and you'd think man it's kind of odd for a 13 year old but I wasn't your average 13 year old if I had money in my pocket it either went to hunting or fishing that is you can ask I mean my parents they always ask me don't you want something else or my mom would and I'd be like no way but uh <laughs> and that's probably uh, how I got to where I am today but I decided to do a quick video on uh, showing you how to tune this thing and uh, it's really simple and easy process so uh, let's get into it all right now I got the call uh, pulled apart here and uh, as you can <coughs> as you can see you can probably see these uh, this green uh, tone board and the uh, wedge well this is the gut system of it all so what you want to do is you can either I don't like to twist them out, but for the, all my uh, short reed goose calls, I don't like to twist them out because you can damage the reed. But um, I, on this one, I will. I'll just twist it out because I don't have nothing right now to pop it out. But um, as you can see, you got your t your little tone board here, and you got your wedge, and then. I can get this thing up off the dang table. Tell you what, a little tip for you. If you, have, if you ever can't get a read off something and you're working on a call, get you a piece of tape. That'll pick it right up. But I don't have no tape. All right, there you go, got it. All right. Now what you want to do is you want to take that read, put it in your thumb and index finger, and squeeze on it. All right, now the bend is out here on this side. You want that bend up against that tone board. All right. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to take this reed. And if I can get close enough for you, you want to push that down just to where you can just see the t end of the tone board. Just see a little gap right there. All right, now what you want to do is take that wedge and line it up with the bottom of the tone board, like so. So now that's what it looks like. Now what you want to do is you want to take your tone board and your wedge, clamp those two together, Get your insert here. It's hollowed out and just place it Right down in there real soft Then you grab it and you push it down All right Now that is a tuned snow goose call. Let's All right, give I got it a whirl. the same tune. Now let's give it a whirl Sounds pretty darn good to me. Um, what you want to do with this when you're blowing into it is I'm going to turn around so you can get a good idea. You just want to grunt. And I just go. You want to grunt into it to get that real loud high pitched bark like snow geese do. And if you want to get a peep noise like a rasp, just take your tongue and go tick, 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 tick. That's what I do. T t t t t t and that works good on those late season birds too, especially in the springtime. And when all those big flocks of adults are, are leaving, or even when you have the adult birds in your area, a little Ross peep mixed with your e-collar 
is extremely effective on those wary birds and uh, just a snow goose call in general mixed with your uh, e-collar your electronic collar is a deadly combination on those uh, adult birds because they don't hear this very often and a lot of your uh, e-collar soundtracks sound the same or maybe one or two that's a little different but not by much and whenever you throw this in there give them something different to hear it, it sometimes it entices them to come uh, within shotgun range because we all know that first push of geese that you get set you get decoys all set out you're ready to go you see a flock they get locked up and you're like yeah they're coming down and they stop about there at 80 yards and they fly off that's just how those adult birds work and sometimes you can entice them to do that but these birds are getting so smart anymore um, you just got to pull you just got to take every tool you have and just throw the whole kitchen sink at them when you're after them hot and heavy so uh, I hope this video helped you a little bit um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below um, if you haven't please like and subscribe uh, if you haven't already um, but, uh, thanks guys for watching